Okay, so yellow light from a sodium lamp transverses a tank of glycerine. The index of refraction is 1.47, 20 meters long, time T1. Takes T2 to pass through the same tank when you fill it with carbon disulfide. Index 1.63. Determine the value of T2 minus T1. So it's just the difference between the two times, yeah? Yeah, this is, uh, this is really straightforward. Do it really quick. It's, it's, uh, it's oh yeah. Um, right. So uh, the distance is velocity times the time, right? And so, uh, and the velocity we know is just uh, c over uh, or uh, uh, yeah c over n, because the light changes its speed when it goes to some uh, index of refraction, uh, whose uh, value is different than vacuum, which is one. Okay, so that means uh, t has to equal to uh, twenty twenty meters. Oops. So twenty uh, so T one is uh, D which is twenty meters. So now we are considering the uh, glis glycerine twenty over uh, C over N, which is for glycerin, it's 1.47. So it's 20 times 1.47 over C. And then T2 is Uh, so now same tank carbon disulfide so it's same length so 20 over C but this time the index of refraction is different so this is 20 times 1.63 over C and then so the difference in times will be <coughs> uh, 20 times 1.63 minus they have the same denominator 1.47 over C so this is what's 1.63 minus 1.47 that's let's just do it on the calculator that's uh, uh, 2.396 over 3 times 10 to the 8 so we get uh, 1 uh, oh um, uh, this is 0 0.16 times 20 yeah. That's uh, 1.07 times 10 to the minus 8. Oops. Straighten this out. Okay, that does it.